Part 4, Rounding and Truncation Errors. You will find this on page 62 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Rounding and truncation numbers can lead to inaccurate answers. Carry out the following investigation to discover the rounding error. Now, I'm just briefly going to go through this investigation. Gerdes, Mark and Upi were nominated to be the head boy of Ochivarungu Secondary School. The table below shows the votes they received during the election. Gerdes, 178 out of 300. Mark, 55 out of 300. And Upi, 67 out of 300. How can I calculate this percentage? It's just 178 divide 300 times 100. And all this is approximated to one decimal point. Now, the total percentage of votes is only 99.9. .9. Discuss in your group what has happened to the missing 0.1% of votes. Explain your answer. How could this be corrected or avoided? Okay, now. The percentage of votes for each candidate is correct to one decimal point. Due to the rounding errors in the intermediate steps, there is a follow-through error resulting in the missing 0,1% of the votes. If the final answer is correct to the nearest percent, we will obtain 100%. So basically, if I approximate this to the nearest unit, then I will get 100%. Hence, the final answer can only be accurate to the nearest unit. Now, we're going to explain this a little bit further on the next page. Now, in this investigation, the percentage values have all been approximated to one decimal place, giving the final answer as 99.9 .9 to one decimal place. This is a follow-through error due to the premature rounding in working out the middle steps. If the final answer is rounded to the nearest unit, we obtain 100. Okay, let's go further into this. Hence, if we want the final answer be uh, answer to be correct to one decimal place, the values in the middle steps working out the percentage votes of the candidates should be given to at least two decimal places. This is very important. So, one decimal place more accurate. Can I just take you back? Okay, to the previous page. If I want this to be correct to one decimal place, I must approximate this middle steps, this middle steps to two decimal places. If I do that and I then add it up and I approximate it to one decimal place, then this answer will give me 100%. Let me just move it now back. Okay. So basically, let's just see, I, I showed you here. So thus we have, so if we approximate that middle steps to two decimal places, 59.33, 18.33, 22.33, we will get 99.99. And if we approximate it to one decimal place, we will get the 100%. So we're going to look a little bit further into this, but very important. The middle steps, if, if usually in grade 8 syllabus they asked you to approximate to one decimal place, then the middle steps approximate that to two decimal places, then your final answer will be correct to one decimal place. Okay, um, we're going to go through this example, explaining this again, and then you can try this one. Okay, so let's start. The area of a square is one for one centimeter square. Find correct to one decimal place the length, the perimeter of the square. Okay. Now, can you remember? Can you remember that we did this already in chapter two? If we square and we want to reverse back, we take the square root. So, if we want to find the length of a square, we will just take the square root of one for one. Now, it's th they want the answer correct to one decimal place, so that's the answer. But I prefer that usually my students, 
must in between just write this let me just write it down so this was actually giving me 11.874 it's not necessary so many places i'm just showing you okay so basically then i approximated to one decimal place so that seven made that eight and nine but if you want to continue with this answer don't continue with the one 11.9 it will lead to inaccurate one decimal place answer so basically what you must do is take one decimal place more so if you continue Continue with this because to find the perimeter of a square, can you remember? The perimeter of a square is just four times the side. So don't work with the 11.9, approximate it then to two decimal places, which will be 11.87. And if you multiply that with four, your final answer will be correct to one decimal place. But let's see if you understand this by doing try now five number A as well as number B. Okay, let's look. Try now five. I'm looking at number A. If again, I'm asking you, I give you the area of the square, two of five, and I ask you the length. So remember the length, I'm just doing the reverse. So it's the square root of two of five. Now, I prefer, it's not necessary that you write all, but that you press it first on your calculator and then at least write a few. 3178206. And now you can approximate it to one decimal place. This is the one decimal place, so that's a one, so this will stay a three, so it will be 14.3 meter. But now comes the real story. If you continue with B, don't continue with that answer. Because the perimeter of a square will be 4 times S. So it's 4 times, then because this is 1, go to 2 decimal places. That will be in order. So 14, look, there's the 1. So that 7 makes it a 2. And if you press it on the calculator, then I will get... 7.28 and now I can approximate to one decimal place and that will now be correct let's just look at the next page and just end the session with truncation errors the word truncate means the shorten by cutting off the end to shorten by cutting off the end for example the square root of this, 12.68857754. If we round off the answer to three decimal places, it will be 12.689. However, if we truncate the answer at three decimal places, it will be 12.688. So then we don't approximate. We just throw that numbers away. We're in the first one, we approximate. That five makes that eight a noun. There is, no rounding, there is no rounding off if we truncate it. Some calculators use rounding for the last digit, while others simply truncate the answer. In, if a calculator uses truncation, the last digit just stay the same. For example, the answer to 2 divided 3 is either 0 0.66666 truncation or 0 0.6667 rounding usually four function calculators that means very simple calculator color calculators use truncation error while scientific calculators show will do the rounding off therefore we must interpret and carefully check the answer obtained from the calculator